Hey, Kevin, building a bridge? Sort of. A uh, question came in the other day. A gentleman was getting back into welding, hadn't been doing it for a long, long time. And he said, I know how to stick. I, I know how to MIG weld somewhat. But I'm trying to make this cold air intake for my pickup. And I'm working with really thin aluminum pipe. And I want to be able to weld it all together. He went on to say that I kind of know how to, how to weld. Like I know how to TIG weld. I know how to TIG weld aluminum. It's just trying to take these pieces of pipe and hold them in just the right spot and get a tack weld on it because I got to hold it with one hand and hold the torch with the other hand and I, you know, try putting the filler rod in my mouth, but that doesn't quite work. No, he didn't say that. But, you know, he just doesn't have enough hands. So how do you tack weld really thin aluminum without any filler? Really, it comes down to settings on the machine. Once you get your machine set up correctly, it should be pretty quick and easy for you to do it. So what I've got here is just a couple of pieces of 16 gauge aluminum, just flat sheet. I'm going to suspend them on these little bars just to get them up off the table. So it's basically like you're trying to weld on a piece of pipe because you got air on the, on the back side of it. Let's look at the machine real quick. I'll show you where I've got the settings and then we'll put our glasses on and I'll show you what happens over here. So we're running the uh, Everlast Lightning MTS 275. So we've got it set up on TIG aluminum and we've got it set up with high frequency 4T control. So that's the finger switch on the torch. Uh, 0.8 on the preflow, uh, 15 on the starting amps, pulse is off, upslope is off. That's important. Downslope is 3.3 uh, but that's not a big deal. The AC is on and that is it is on advanced pulse or advanced AC. That's advanced AC, uh, soft AC, triangular AC, and sine wave. So it's on advanced AC, 30% on the balance, 125 on the frequency. And that's all we need. So I'm going to be at the bench with the finger control, no foot pedal. So get your helmet. So you can see just with 113 amps on the machine and starting on one side, clicking the trigger, as soon as that arc started, that arc initiated, hop over to the other side and click the trigger again to kill it. Start it here, then arc initiate, hop over. And that's all I was doing. Missed it right there, kind of blew a little hole. You can see the, this piece, this side was starting to drop just a little bit, just because it's a flat sheet. But I just went ahead and put a couple more on there just to show you. And of course you can do the same thing with your foot pedal. If, if you don't use a finger control like I do, just turn your amps up a little. You know, I had it up there about 113. You can turn your machine up to like 120 if you're using a foot pedal. And all you're going to do is just come in with your torch. You're going to get right there on one side. You're going to floor that foot pedal. That arc is going to start. You're going to hop to the other side. You're going to let go of that foot pedal. A second, maybe two, that's all you need. Bam, 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 bam and you can get those little tacks in there. If you're holding that piece together and you just want to, you know, tack it, tack it, now you can come back with your filter rod and you can weld it all the way around. And if you don't have a machine like this that has the four different waveforms on it for AC, you just got just a plain old, you know, sine wave, you know, a transformer based machine, it works the same. Just turn your amps up a little higher than you think you, you actually would use to weld something this thick. Start it on one side, hop to the other, kill it quick 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 you gotta attack it and get it done really quick that's the only way to do it without using a piece of filler rod that allows you to hold both you know hold one side against the other side tack it tack it tack it i hope that points you in the right direction on how to you know cheat a little bit and do something by yourself i do appreciate you watching don't forget to come out to my website see what's going on out there and i'll see y'all next time You hit it with your 
when you stand up and you knock it over. That's what happens.